Welcome to episode 5 of my Caribbean Port series. This week finds me in a once in a lifetime trip swimming with the pigs in Antigua. Pack my things up carefree. Adventures way in. I'm heading out, heading out to see the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Antigua. At just 14 miles longer than 13 miles wide, it is one of the largest of the Leeward Islands. So today we are on the west coast and heading south towards Seaforth Beach to meet the pigs in paradise. I absolutely cannot wait to meet them. Now it's a 20 minute speedboat ride from the cruise port to Seaforth Beach and the cost is $40 per person return. Now, I booked this uh, trip directly with Pigs in Paradise. I first went onto the website and it showed that the day we were in Antigua was actually sold out. So there was a telephone number on there, so I called them and they had availability, which was great. Uh, so you could either pay by PayPal or she said, if not, just turn up and you pay on arrival. And it was $100 per person and transfers to Seaforth Beach return were not included in that. What was really unexpected was that our lovely speedboat captain took us to all the beautiful stunning beaches on the way. So we saw Deep Bay Beach, we saw Galley Beach and we saw Eden Beach. And now finally, here we are and welcome to Seaforth Beach and Pigs in Paradise. Now, not only do you get to have such a unique experience, but the scenery is absolutely breathtaking. So you feed in with the baby bottles and I'll show you how to do that. And we'll also be feeding off our hand with, um, with like pellets, okay? Um, so uh, we'll put the pellets in your hand and uh, please do not feed them without supervision. We'll, we'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay. It's such a special place, Paradise Pigs, because you get an exclusive pig beach experience and you get to cuddle the pigs, pet them, hold them, swim with them, race with them uh, on a beautiful, beautiful beach. Now you will see there is a hierarchy between the pigs and you will see Miss Piggy, who as the leader of the pack, she doesn't have to compete for her food. <laughs> Whereas you find the little piggies uh, in the video as it goes on compete against each other for more and more food. Imagine she doesn't have to compete for the food. So if you're feeding one of these piggies, a few other piggies may run in to try and get it because they are competing. We were constantly taught how to act with the pigs and how to feed them. So we're all given a baby bottle, as you can see, and, had, <laughs> and feed the pigs some milk. And they were all competing for that bottle, believe me. And I finally get to hold a little piggy. Now meet Pina Colada, my favorite piggy out of them all, having his lunch. He was absolutely gorgeous, he was. And if that wasn't enough, you get to run with the pigs. Now the pigs absolutely love human interaction. And here they are racing each other before having a little swim to cool off. They are so cute. And before you know it, the two and a half hours is sadly over. Now, Pigs in Paradise charge $100 per adult. Children aged 6 to 15 years of age are $50, not to 5 years are free. They offer two visits a day, which is 9.30am and 12.30 noon. Refreshments and light snacks are also included at the end of your experience. So our speedboat driver waited for us, as you can see there, and then took us to Deep Bay Beach and these gorgeous, gorgeous over the water bungalows, a thousand pound a night. But you know what? They may offer world-class reservations, free dining and exceptional amenities, but they don't have Epicurean, the beach house and 710 club. Speak of the devil and there she is. Do you know what? It was absolute and amazing, amazing experience. I would recommend it so much. So back to the pier and we have more entertainment to greet us. Antigua, you have been amazing. 
Next week, you will find me in St Lucia, riding a pillion with a very nice tour guide in Rodney Bay. What could possibly go wrong?